Welcome to Cycling Weekly's guide to stage nine of the 2018 Tour de France, which takes place on Sunday, the 15th of July, between Arras Citadel and Roubaix. Now, this stage is 154 kilometers long, but excitingly, it features 21.7 kilometers of cobbles across 15 sectors. Now, the inclusion of this pave is likely to make this stage one of the most decisive of this year's race. So we've come to Northern France to check out the cobbled sectors to see what the riders are likely to be facing on the day. This cobbled sector we're on now is the Oshi Abersi which is 2.7 kilometers long, making it one of the longer sections of Parve. And it's regularly features in Paris-Roubaix, but will also be a key sector in this year's Tour de France stage. I've got big tires in right now, 28 millimeters on wide Envy rims. They're coming out at 31 millimeters wide, but they're still not doing much to take out the sting and the vibration from the cobbles. Many of the 15 sectors used in this stage will be familiar to you if you're a fan of Paris-Roubaix. And they range from 500 meters long to the massive 2.4 kilometers long tilloy assar Erosier. This little section is the Pave de Nouveau Monde and is the second part of the De Oshi Habersé sector. Something else that makes these sectors hard is how exposed they are to the wind. If the wind gets up, they can be really tough. Stage nine is set to take place on the same day as the FIFA World Cup final in Russia. So in order not to clash with this, the organizers are planning to start the stage slightly earlier than normal. If you're gonna tune in and watch it, you should factor this in so that you don't miss the action. This particular section is quite flat here meaning it doesn't make much difference whether you ride in the middle like me right now or if you ride on a line on the side of the road. However, certain bits and on other sectors, the roads have a really big crescent sort of shape to them, meaning they're much higher in the middle and the sides can have quite a bit of drop off. Now, this isn't much of a problem when you're riding on your own like me and you can pick exactly where you want to be. But when you're in a bunch and you're racing, you may not have that luxury. And if it's wet, then the sides of the cobbles can be really, really sketchy, especially if you're riding them and they're at an angle. I don't know any riders that race on this. You can hear just by my voice. Oh, they're getting battered around. <laughs> We're not even going that fast. Oh, this is great. Oh, she's like silk. This is amazing. So why do we like cobbles in the Tour de France so much? Well, I think there's two big reasons for this. The first thing is that cobbles add a massive element of unpredictability and in sport, unpredictability is what makes it such a compelling watch. Never knowing who's gonna win is what makes it exciting. But there's another big reason, and that is that we like seeing sports people out of their comfort zone. And this is something that's in other sports as well. So for example, in football, when defenders or goalkeepers have to take a penalty in a penalty shootout, they're doing something that is not their specialist area of expertise. Or in cricket, where tail enders have to bat against really fast bowlers, it's always entertaining watching them struggle. But equally as entertaining as it is watching them struggle, it's also great when that defender scores the penalty, or when the tail ender gets a 50 or a 100 and does something remarkable. And having cobbles in the tour is just like that, because People like Chris Froome and Nairo Quintana or Vincenzo Nibali are not known for riding on cobbles. It's not their specialist area of expertise. It's out of their comfort zone. So that when they succeed at it and when they do something really well, 
It's amazing to watch and it's really admirable and we love to see it. This sector we're on now is the Campfin en Pavel and it's the second to last sector in this year's Tour de France stage. It's 1.8 kilometers long and the cobbles are much less severe. <laughs> you, you probably can't tell from my talking, but trust me, the cobbles on this sector are much less severe than some of the other sectors before it. This section of cobbles is also often used as the second to last sector in Paris-Roubaix, where it's often followed by the Carrefour de l'Arbre. In this case though, in the tour, the organizers have put in another sector which has in the past been used in Paris-Roubaix from Willem to M. So the cobbles are going to be unpredictable and that's why we love them. But what's happened in recent years on the cobbles? Well, in 2014, Froome famously crashed before one of the cobble sectors, fracturing his wrist and having to abandon the Tour de France. And that year it was raining. Nibali shone on the cobbles and put two and a half minutes into his next nearest rival, Alberto Contador. And that stage was won by Lars Bohm. In 2015, Froome fared much better on the cobbles, having much improved his bike handling. However, he did lose the stage, Tony Martin, and the yellow jersey, only to regain it later on. I'm just constantly concentrating, trying, trying, I can't even talk. I'm just constantly trying to stay upright. It's mentally tiring, just constantly looking where you're going and trying not to stack it, trying not to slip or end up in a, a really deep gap between some stones. That's the thing that's hard about any cobble stage for the riders and especially the pro riders who aren't specialists on the cobbles or don't have much experience on the cobbles. It's, it takes skill and the more you do it, the more practice you do it, like with most things, the better you get. So. You know, someone like Nairo Quintana, who hasn't ridden the classics much, you know, he can really come unstuck here. This, you can see behind me, is the final significant sector of the tour stage. It's 1.4 kilometers long, and it starts in Willem and ends in M. And you may notice that there's this sort of pavement down the side of the cobbles. Now, we've been told that the organizers are planning to blockade this off, forcing the riders to ride on the pave. And to be quite honest, I just kind of wish they did that on all the sectors, really, because that's, that's the whole point. That's what we want to see, the riders on the cobbles. So I'm just going to go ride it now. We've ridden most of the key sectors today that are going to be in this year's tour and you know as if you're familiar with cobbles you'll know that they vary in severity certain sections are worse than others but this final section oh man it is a tough sector the riders will be glad to see the back of it the cobbles are big kind of like the Arenberg, but there's also some really big dips and sort of undulations in the overall road surface which just exaggerate the cobbles even more that was shaking me to bits. <laughs> so there is stage nine of the tour. But we want to know who you think is going to win and what you think is going to happen. So please post your predictions in the comments section below. And if you like this video, then why not subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel. But until then, we'll see you later. 2.4 kilometers long for the Tiloy En Savard, blah, 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 I got it wrong. Tiloy Assa Erosier. Tiloy Assa Erosier. Tiloy Assa Erosier.